Is that that's the last time I, I smelled a crisp the one dollar bill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I figured as such. You're squirming in your chair there, waiting to hear my offer. I'm yeah, gonna no. offer you forty nine, forty nine dollars, which is more than double your last offer. Listen, buy, buy Listen. yourself a soda. Mason, do you, do you want to know why I have a chair right back there? I actually got this chair because when you bend me over to fuck me like you're doing right now, I at least want to be comfortable on that chair. Okay. That chair looks like a so, chair for ants. There's no way you're gonna be. If you lean back in there, that is firewood on four legs. Look at it. That's waiting to break. Go, go grab that chair. Let me have a look at that shit. I'm just saying. Nah. I'm just saying. Is this good for you, Mason? Is this is this what you wanted? Ar- Archer back. Archer, Archer back, back a little you more. Fucking rookie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. This is good Come for on. Cut it. Stomach to the chair. Cut it. Kevin. Stomach to the chair. Okay. I'm, I'm, Ass up. Mason, is this is this how you like it? Perch it up a little bit. Go. On. Is, is, this, is that is that it? Is that how you want to do it? No fucking deal, Mason. Our no fucking back. deal. No, get out of here. No deal. That was a that was a stupid decision. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Forty nine dollars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>little transition into there um little early early morning uh situation you got yourself kevin yeah i uh i had a, a dream that i was supposed to be here and then i woke up i was like oh fuck i actually am well i'm glad like, that you followed through on your dream bro it's good to have uh, you in the building and uh it's yeah, great to have yeah, uh my man mason and here the boss if you will of uh the crusader talent agency which is the reason we can actually showcase these fantastic content creators here in the first place um what time is it over there for you my man welcome by the way hey thanks good to be here it's it's 8 30 a.m bright and early oh shit okay morning coffees for both yeah. the boys are you guys usually up this early uh yeah i mean yeah, i mean he is because he's an actual adult but like i normally wake up in about an hour so yeah it wasn't it wasn't too much of a schedule change yeah fair play that's good that's good i mean we don't really grow up i mean you you as long as you're playing runescape you're still a child at heart right i'm always gonna be a fucking child man <laughs> yeah definitely. never lose your t-rex you know your yeah. dinosaur from, that's it. from a peak hair I, I have to be you know as mature as a seven-year-old that's true that's true you got to get muted every now and then too you know yeah of course flame some boys out <laughs> Um, what about you, Mason? You, uh, I know you've been organizing a few rev trips with the lads here and there. Have you, you seen, uh, frames peaking skills firsthand? Wow. I don't know if I've seen them firsthand in action. I need a peaking lesson though. I, I will tell him that I'm still waiting on him to make some time for, okay. for me. Um, you we, ask, we are going to do, I, all right, I'll take you up on that. So crusader talent is turning one year old. Uh, here in a couple weeks and we're gonna do a little team drop party um, in Fally and we're gonna do a, an LMS trip so hopefully by then Kevin will make some time for me and, uh, and, and I can up my up my game a bit it's I'm a novice right now at LMS it's embarrassing Wait, how much uh, is this uh, drop party you're talking about here Mason oh we, we could we could do a hundred mil or so none of you are invited hundred mil okay just, it's just warrior. me and frame, right? Just me and frame, though. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Just the, the three of us? Yeah, the, yeah, the three of us. 100%. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I think uh, that's completely gotta, fair, honestly. <laughs> you can't forget Party Pete. Oh, yeah. Man, Party Pete know. will be doing his That guy, man. That okay. guy's an alcoholic. We don't need him. Hey, uh, what kind of items are we thinking for the drop party, then? <sighs> Definitely some Fury, some Whips, just the standard stuff. Okay, some classics. Okay, I might throw a cash stack in there, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so two, let's go two Furies, two Whips, and then we'll do a 90 mil cash stack between me and Frame. <laughs> That's actually kind of fair, actually. Yeah. What do you reckon? I can arrange that. What do you reckon the cash stack is going to be in terms of you taking it home tonight, Framed? Uh, the IRL cash stack or what? Yeah, I mean you're playing for 250 USD. Like that's a that's a sizable amount of dollars here. Um, All right, so. Let's put it like this. You know how um, how C Engineer figured out the mathematics of yes. uh, everything yeah. you know, so long ago? That is not what's going to happen tonight. But, you know, I think, I think we're going to run the numbers and we're going to see 
as we go on what I can get. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and you know, this is worst case scenario. We somehow convinced Mason to give me three hundred dollars. Worst case scenario in my book. Three hundred. Yeah. Are you, you talking Australian dollars or U.S. dollars? No, I'm, I'm talking um, British pounds actually. So it's a bit more in U.S. dollars. Round so. it up. Okay. Well, did or bitter turn me upside down last week? Two hundred dollars. You won. Did you watch that, Kevin? I did not know. I want to uh, psych gonna... myself out, bro. I watched uh, the recent one I watched was uh, Jimmy, because uh, he brought a whole fucking set of cleaning supplies here, man, to the fucking show. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, oh. yeah. <laughs> Wait. I missed that episode. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you mean it's part of the Crusader game show series. No, we, no, we had no, him on no, for, like, no. One of the other ones, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, way back, bro. Fuck yeah, the camera yeah. spray. Good that lord. That was a way back. That was about like a month. Oh man, I've lost all conception the, of time then. Perception yeah. of time. Um, I'm also about to lose perception of time when it comes to the Trailblazers. Are you going to get amongst that too? Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, well, let's be fair, man. You know, I, I think it's not called gridlock, but you know, I think uh, I think it's kind of gridlock. You know what I mean? Okay. I think they. Uh, Kind of robbed me blind on that one. No, did, uh, look, did you tell the missus as well that you probably won't see her for a few weeks or what? I, yeah, I did, and she was not very happy about it, okay. but, you know. She understands. She knows what she got into. What about you, yeah. Mason? You're going to have a little dabble? No, no man. Someone's no. got to keep the lights on around here. Yeah, I was going to say, you're busy, bills. man. Okay. Um, I've got a couple questions, and then we'll head into the lobby, and uh, we'll see what uh, <clears throat> see what we can do. We'll open some cases. Um Okay, this one for you, um, Kevin. You're the owner okay. of a gem stall in Alka Ridge. You catch a gnome stealing a ruby. What do you do? Death sentence. Just on the like, how 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 are you going about it though? Um, I probably bring him to the uh, to the rune crafting guild behind Draenor, mm -hmm. Draenor Manor. So. I'd probably do with uh, you know do a nice little public execution for the boys. Yeah. You know, okay. kind of have to up. put that guy in his place. You can't steal my one dollar gem from me. I might actually entice people to do a bit of rune crafting if they get to see that. Well, yeah, exactly. I got you. And Mason. Well, it's it's a tough one. I don't like thieves, so what I'd probably do is I'd I'd hang them from his toes. Like okay. from the grand tree, you know what I'm talking about? Like yeah. the, the top branch mm -hmm. and and uh, have them stoned. And have them stoned, okay. Man, oh, you guys are yeah, a bunch buy, of savages. Buy the other <laughs> I don't know how much yeah, money you're going to get tonight, well, to, to be fair, to be fair, it's not like he's stealing bread for his family. Like like he's going after the big stuff, man. He He's rehearsed yeah. this before. He's not a good you know person, not a good runescape creature but it could he's getting be, the death penalty it could be a, a nice ruby gem for a crush of his you know it could okay. be a tragic love story that you know you've, you've kind of cucked the man out of something special there you know you ever think about Go that rob, i mean he he should have vetted the places he's gonna rob because clearly if the owner is gonna murder him he should go rob from the ardoin silver stall okay you know, she can get a nice little silver necklace we can do that now Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll make sure to uh, to let the man know if he does plan on robbing you that uh, you at least you know have a sign out the front that says, "Look, I'm I'm, I'm going to cut you if if you rob me." Okay, so no precautions. No doubt. Precautions. Okay. Um. Okay. What about if you were stranded on an island and you could only take one RuneScape item? What would it be? And it cannot be teleports. All right. Well, home teleports. No, no teleports. That's believe it or not, got the keyword teleport in it. Uh, framed. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, let's see. I've got one. This is lame. This is lame, but I feel like a tinderbox would do me well. Okay. No, it's fair. Do you know how to fire. use the tinderbox? I, I've got like 53 fire making. I'm I saying, are you like an box. eagle scout in real life or something? <laughs> um, no. No. Okay, um, then what are you, you going to do with a tinderbox? You li like that guy. You're like that Bear guy in that one fucking picture that said, I want to go back in time so I can stun them all with my brilliant intellect. And then they start uh, saying, how do you make fire? And you're like, I don't know. 
that's you. That's well, entirely I, you, I Mason. I can honestly say I've never used a Tinder box, but I think I, it comes with an instruction manual, right? Yeah. I could just, yeah. Waterproof too, 100%. It's waterproof and I can read the instructions. I'd be fine. Yeah. As long as I have fire, I can cook food. I can purify water. Mm -hmm. I'm golden. Okay. Also, All right, so the, instructions, I, I bring... the instructions would be this, wouldn't they? You would just put one hand on it, right? And then you'd put one hand on the log and then the log catches fire. That's how it goes in the game. That's how it's going to go on the island. Okay, that's actually yeah. fair then. I right? mean, that's what I. But where's your axe? Like. Where's your axe? Because you need you 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 need more than. Oh, there's a log respawn on the island somewhere, bro. You know. Yeah. Okay, that's not even fair then. Because hmm. that well, okay. So, you're you're saying that no home teleports, no you know runes of any kind. That's correct. It's just an uh, item. Okay, <clears throat> so no runes, no, nothing that. You can one click teleport or even two click teleport, right? Nah. No, no teleports. I've... You gotta stay on the island. You know, you might be able to okay. bring a manta ray and, and ride it back to the mainland or something like the old. Alright, alright, yeah. alright. I, I know what it's gonna be then. Go on, yeah. I'm gonna bring Man, a, I'm gonna bring could... a Go ahead, Kevin. <laughs> I'm gonna bring a ring of life. Oh. And I am going to drown myself. <laughs> That's actually and a then... good shell. Yeah. I'm good at that point. I'm I'm going back. Yeah, okay. That's actually a good point. See, well I wish I could phone a friend. I mm. wanted to, to phone Verf. He spent a day or two on an island. I wonder what he would bring. He's the master. Mm. That's true. A bit of a connoisseur of the island, island stuff. Okay. Yeah. He's the, the king of Karavia. Okay. Well, look, Mason, if we've got you in the hot seat, we know who to call. If that question mm. ever comes up, then. Verf has got my back. Hmm. Guys, we're going to get into the studio. We're going to play a cheeky little intro. And uh, we are going to commence show four of the Crusader Game Show series, hosted and sponsored, well, sponsored by uh, and co hosted, I guess, tonight by Crusader Talents, uh, Mason Crusader here, mate. Um, so, ready to play, boys and girls? We'll get in there. It's game. Yes, okay. sir. Let's do it. Here we go. It's not working right now, so it's probably not great of me to. You <clears throat> hey, know, how you guys? To gambling. What's up? What's up? Hey, how oh, you doing? Should I move my guy? Oh, we're Ooh. in there. Uh, look, oh. yeah, look. To be fair, I've been up for a wee while too. You'll have to forgive me, framed, and I'll forgive you. But my brain is also not too functional. It took me a little while to find the right button there, um, mm. on the intro. But we, we got there. It's, oh God, I tell you what, I love the cat jam emote. Thoughts on the cat jam emote? Catchyam, oh, Catchyam's a good fucking guy, honestly. Right, he's. The, I, I think I think the worst thing he does is evade his taxes, but you know what? Like, we'll look the other way for the big man because yeah, he he understands what's going on, and I can respect him. He's got some good chat. He's got some good taste in music, and um, he's got some moves on the D floor too. That's correct. That's correct. Now, we've had you on one of these shows before, haven't we, Frank? You have. Do you remember it which was, one it was? Uh, I think it was Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, but I also don't remember literally at all. So, I have a peanut brain. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, I think it was a deal or no deal. Well, just lock and deal or no deal. I was, it wasn't even a test or a, a question. I was like, bro, do you actually remember what show it was on? Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I, I don't either. I remember I was here and I remember I dressed up for it. Yeah, and uh, and then I remember that was like four years ago, or something like that. Three years ago. Yeah. Okay. So, were you? I don't. I don't know if you were doing deal or no deal then. I think you were doing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I think you're right. I think it might have been a Who Wants. I think this is. I think I, I think I didn't. I think I didn't walk away millionaire though. Yes, banker. How how long 
how long have you been running this show? Uh, Deal or No Deal, I think I've been doing for at least two years now. About the same time I started the Iron Man, sort of brought that in. But the OS, RS, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, I've been doing pretty much since the get-go, maybe just a bit over three, uh, three years. Yeah, so... Oh, season that. Yeah. Now, we're, we're looking at getting a third one, possibly doing the prices right. Um, if I can ever get around to it, when I just feel like I'm about to get on to putting that together as something else comes up. But um, anyway, let's not get sidetracked here. Um, a quick refresher of the rules. Right, we've got a total of 26 cases. Um, 1 to 26, each case ranging from a whopping 1 cent all the way up to 250 USD. So the idea, K-Dog, do you mind if I call you K-Dog? Of course, bro. Excellent. You're good. Um, is that you want to select a case, which is going to be your case for the entirety or the majority of the show. The idea is that you select a case that has a high value in it. All right. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to go round by round. Each round, you're going to open a certain amount of cases on the stage there with our gorgeous NPCs. Right, the first mm -hmm. round being a total of six cases you'll open, right? And then mm -hmm. we're going to give the banker a call and he's going to try and bid you to go home. He's going to try and get you out the door with a nice little offer, win-win situation, right? So Fuck the you, idea mate. is that you open stay here, bro. low cases, right? Mm -hmm. So the probability of your case having a higher number in it is increasing, right? That yeah. way, the banker is going to feel way more obliged to offer you a bigger a bigger sum of money okay listen listen mm -hmm. i've seen howie mandel's bald fucking head i know how this works i know okay. that you guys got into a lawsuit for him ripping off your show let's fucking do okay. this okay 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 i like it i like the enthusiasm we're gonna we're gonna crack it open um that's pretty much it chat all right big big kevin on the flame here he's going for it uh you guys can type exclamation mark deal or exclamation mark no deal as well if you want to incite a little peer pressure throw it into the mix okay um oh, that one cool. is there for you as well for a little bit of peer pressure so get accustomed with that one um that's good i love that yeah let's let's just have a look so i think we can just go deal yeah there look at that isn't that fantastic um any questions before we start um here kevin i don't know the only question i have is you know how one or two briefcases for all the money I'm going to be taking home. Uh, you know, like, well, we'll have to get to the end and find out. I mean, it depends if yeah. we've got it in one dollar coins. You know, you might be going home with a trunk, a treasure trace of sorts. Yeah, yeah, that's literally what's going to happen. Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. Actually, I've always wanted to, you know, buy a low budget car and, and you know, if it's a cash only kind of thing, just rock up with five dollar notes or something. Just because when you open a briefcase and it's a million dollars, you know, it's never as much money as it looks. They always yeah, no. really puff it's it like, up a little like a bit. Fourth of this. Yeah, it's actually a lot smaller than you'd think. So I'd quite like to do a maybe one day if I really make it well, you know, ten thousand dollars for a new car and do it all in five dollar bills. It's probably still going to be fuck all, but you know who knows. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can get you a few bills here, bro. Uh, you need to select your chosen case for the show, my man. Okay. Well, you see, I, I was thinking. When I initially uh, came on to you know the show, or you told me that I was gonna come on to the show, uh, that I wanted to go for someone handsome, mm -hmm. you know, someone uh, that you know lives very close to my heart and ideals. I was gonna go with Evil Dave because uh, you know, I didn't live in her basement per se, but I did live at my mom's house for a long time. But then last night, uh, the soup told me that I have to pick number ten. And I told him it, uh, only if number 10 is handsome, oh. whoever uh, NPC is going to be. And uh, it's Party Pete. Now, Party Pete is, uh, listen, I'm sure he's a lovely guy, mm -hmm. but, you know, I don't want to pick Party Pete. But that being said, you know, Stefan carried me last night in CSGO, so I feel like I have to pick Party Pete for him. So, okay. you know, it's Party Pete, it's number 10. Number 10, lock it in. 10's a nice number, too. Yeah. He's looking good. It's uh even number. Okay. Let's uh let's lock a number ten there. Thank you. Um, mate, I'll say you and Party Pete, you guys go to the gym together, bro. 
Both those arms looking swole, cuz. I mean, you know. Let's be real. Is fucking Evil Dave gonna spot me? Or is he gonna complain about the weights that it's chipping his nail? No. I gotta go with my boy Party Pete. Fair play. That's yeah, a good choice. Okay. Right. Um, six cases in this first round. We need one off the board straight away. Let's let's get one out of the uh, out of the way. Come on, mate. Ah, Evil Dave, number seventeen. Right. Okay, number seventeen. Second from the back. Oh, my stream deck. Come on. You got one of these things? These stream decks? Ah, uh, no. I gotta get one. Pretty handy. Oh. Bro, thank oh. God, and is that fucking loser? God damn. <laughs> okay, red hot start. What a fucking. What a dork, bro. Five cases, my man. Next one. Man. You know what? I'm going to rip the band-aid off right now. I'm going to go sandwich lady. So if I'm getting fucked over from her, I know right away. Number 11. Okay. That's that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, num number eight. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean, this stream deck, bro. This one key on my stream deck that's like a little bit buggy, right? Uh, you want to pick number is it, eight? Is it number, is it number eight? It's got to have a mind of its own, bro. I swear to God. I was like, no, 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 please, please. Uh, you want right, to hit number eight? number eight? Yeah, let's yeah. get it out of the way. Okay, I like it. Like, I could breathe on that key and it activates, bro. It really does have a mind of its own. What is it? Oh, shit. Bro. Fuck you. Bro, what that the key hell, sucks. Man? Okay. All right. Yeah. Look at that. It just baited me, man. It yeah. totally just fucking baited me. Uh, who are we looking at? Where's the quest guy? Is the quest guy here? Uh, Who's the quest guy? What, with the quest cape? Yeah, what is that what prick? His name is. Yeah. It's been so long since I've had to do that. Do a quest. Mm. Who's the quest it's, guy? Uh, you get the, you get the cape. You get him from um, from Wise Old Man, I think. I oh think yeah. You get him from Wise Old Man. I think you're right. Yeah, he's number twenty six. Yeah. Back right. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy's got a lot of fucking money. In his case, I just know it. I just know he has a lot of money. Because, I mean, look at him. He literally robbed a fucking bank for that party hat. Mm. So. But I guess the party hat's not worth a whole lot in uh, today's market, is it? I mean, I've run the numbers and uh, the supply is a lot more than it used to be back in the days, you see. Well, yeah, but what makes you think that, you know, he just stopped there? Well, you he's you know, he... taking other shit now. Nah, uh, yeah, he he's taken. He took Draenor Bank to the cleaners. Why would he not fucking? You, you don't think he's up there running some Venezuelan bot farm and you know what is now the destroyed revs? Nah, nah. I mean, I, he's he's really hit a low point now. Um, K Dog, I I saw him telegraphing those gold bars in Rock West Bank in the basement. He's he's lost it. That is pretty pathetic of him. <sighs> you want to hit him up? Not yet, not yet. Okay. See, Ali Morrison, that guy. You, know, you just know that's a guy that wants to fuck his mom. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm gonna go with number twenty because I don't, I don't think he has any idea what's going on. No, I mean that's uh, that's really logical. Yeah. I would have said exactly the same thing. He's got a pretty hot mom though, to be fair. No, I get it. <laughs> mm. oh. Dang, man, dang. Forty bucks. Yeah, I'm board. trying to follow my heart here. I'm trying to follow my heart. I'm okay. Not working, so we're gonna go with number fifteen. That guy, grave digger. Yes. Please dig up one cent. Uh, dig up Leo one cent, with the man. spectacles, my man. Yeah. Um, why is your heart said Leo the grave digger? I don't know. He just looks poor, man. Okay. I hope he's got bank. How dare you judge oh, a, I don't. A, a character by how he looks? Oh man, he is poor as fuck. Fuck that guy. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. He just looks like he doesn't understand what the concept of money is. He might have just been burying money in the coffins. He's got no money on hand, but you know he's got a nice retirement package. You see? Oh, I get it. It's it's more so like for the IRS. Yeah, that's that's exactly okay. right. He's a smart man. He's got glasses, right? 
Yeah. I mean, it doesn't it's make sense with it's you. It's literally but... impossible to be a fucking dork. Yeah, no, that's yeah. That's where I was going, actually. Thank you for uh, beating me to it. It's quite right. One case to go, my man, before we get the banker on the line. <sighs> you know, I have not had good luck so far, so... <laughs> Number 19. Eight. Number 19. Did you actually put that on the screen? I did, yeah. Oh, that's cool. You running like a, what, two, three monitors, maybe four? I got the old 17 monitor set up. 17 monitors, so you're launching satellites over there? Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. How's that? Uh, I, I just, you know, I just don't have 15 of them permission, but you know. Yeah, okay. How's Elon Musk doing these days? Uh, pretty fucking well, man. Uh, yeah. We got that three dollar mark. Fucking sorry, number fifteen is again. It's just gonna reopen here for you guys. Just to reaffirmate that Leo, uh, this is for an IRS. They asked for a replay on that one. Yeah. It's auditing live on stream at the moment. Yeah, Le Le Leo is the uh, with friend of you backstage. Really fucking hammered in, bro. Yeah, that's it. Right. Okay, we're gonna get the banker on the line. Honestly, not a bad first round. I've definitely seen that go worse many a times. A lot worse than that. So a good. Yeah, props to you. Right. Okay. Here he is. Hello, banker. God, you're looking almighty up there like that. Looking down on us, Mason. Spooky as fuck, yeah. Yeah. I kind of liked it. It was kind of like, you you know, the Seymour? The Seymour thing? You know, he's pathetic like this. Pathetic. 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 Yeah, it's kind of like that. Uh, look, I was saying to okay, K-Dog, uh, pretty hot round. Thoughts? Yeah, I'm not thrilled with it. Yeah. I'm not thrilled with it. Um, he was, he's pretty hot. He's mm. got, what, one, two, three, four, five of the largest values still in the cases. Um, but I'm a generous guy. K Dog's been good to me. Mm -hmm. We've been working together at Crusader for three, four months. And um, I'm generous. Mm -hmm. You are. I know we just got married. Um, so it's expensive to. And a park. Um, so with that, take it or leave it. Twenty-four USD. Twenty-four big ones. Yeah, I'll take the money. I'll, I'll, see you later. I'll take the money. Oh, well, I needed to go to bed anyway, man. So that's cool. I appreciate that. Fuck out of here with that bunk offer, man. Smart. Listen, I know. I know why. I, I listen. I get why. I get why he's offering me only twenty-four dollars. Okay, you hear that fucking microphone, bro? He needs it. He's trying to keep as much cash in his pocket as he possibly can with that fucking laggy microphone get out of here man was it a See, no deal i had a mic fail that's a, that, that's a no off. deal that's a no deal <laughs> look at the size of that cup bro it's yeah, as man. big as your head <laughs> it's a bucket it's with a metal. handle holy it's shit metal, metal. okay fair play look okay banker we'll be back in five cases appreciate the offer man thank you all right uh, was that a little you know, Spider Man really, rig? What is that? You don't, you don't really appreciate that guy's offer, right? You know, it was dog shit. Bro, come on, it's early days. Give the man a break. Nah, dude, that was fucking. That was bunk. He's an but, yeah, guy. no, that, that's, this whole operation right here, yeah. it's, uh, it's a nice little Spider Guy mug. Okay. You know, and uh, I think my dad got it for me a couple of years ago because I just got into tea drinking and he's like, oh, he'd love this because. Um, for some reason, he thinks I love Spider-Man, but I don't. But you know, you play I'm gonna use it. the cup anyway. Yeah, I play. Yeah. I play along. Yeah. You, know, you know, love the old guy. So yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta at least pretend. Yeah. But you now, then, then I see the size of it, and it holds like about 15 gallons, give or take. So it's like, you know, I may as well use it. Yeah. Um. No, a bit of a fan of the green tea too, to be honest. It's quite nice on a winter night of gaming, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's what's yeah. waking me up. Yeah, good man. Um, okay, what kind of an offer were you expecting there uh, from the get-go then? You know, if you're a little bit offended by the first offer from the banker, what were you expecting? Listen, I was expecting just about what he offered. I was I was thinking it was going to be somewhere around like $30, you okay. know, give or take. Uh, but, you know, listen, you know Mason. I know Mason. We know he's a true con man. We know he, he's trying to come up front and pretend like that's a good offer, but... He's like, you know, he's like, oh, I, I, I ran the numbers for you, and you know, yeah. I even added, uh, you know, a, a three point four times multiplier. He's just making shit up on the spot because he's just looking what he has in his fucking wallet. Twenty four dollars, man. He, he, he's, he was banking on the fact 
that I was going to take that because that's all he had in his fucking pocket. But no, it's not good enough. Okay. It's not good enough. He's going to have to go take a little fucking loan out for this, man. All right. Well, let's uh, let's have a look bigger. who's got what in their pockets. Then we've got five cases in the second round. K dog, hit me with another one. Well, here's the thing. Initially, when I was looking around the board, I was thinking to myself, who is most likely to have that two hundred fifty dollars? You know, and I, I want I want your guess. Who do you think out of this board would likely have the two fifty dollars? Well. You see, it would be a conflict of interest if I was to tell you who no, I thought. Listen, listen, listen I, I get that. I'm not, I'm not trying to lead you anywhere. I'm just saying, mm. if you if you were to to get, you know, all 26 of these guys just walking past you in a line, who would be the most obviously rich out of all of them? I could tell you. I'm gonna I say Hades because he ain't us. I'm gonna say Hades because he ain't us. What? No, that guy. That guy always. Look at him. Million. He looks loaded. That would have been my initial thought. He looks rich as fuck. He's got a top hat. He's got a briefcase. Yeah, I know. Money. But yeah, but you'd be you'd be horribly wrong. It would be Romeo because Romeo is a fucking simp. Okay. Okay. That guy has the two hundred fifty dollars. He's he's cashing all those you know tier three gift sub checks. So we're going with number one. Hate us because I ain't us because uh, <laughs> that guy doesn't have shit. All right. Okay. Let's see if you're he right. Doesn't have about anything. That one. Is it on loan or does he own it? Yeah, it's on loan. Yeah. All right, big man. You. What about what about Romeo? Are you gonna open that man? No, dude. Okay. Romeo, you know, I'm gonna let him live his life, unless he's one of those poor simps. I don't know. He's got the flowers. I don't know if those are like Walmart brand or not. If they're like you know just like fake, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I, if we went number nine too. That guy's got a lot of money. You know. For obvious reasons, so. Mm. Mm. But let's go. Has he let's go sold it? Jeff. You know, has he? He might have recently sold it. Might have done a little bit of a dump. Yeah, it depends on how old he is. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, how long he's been it, in it, circulation for? Exactly. Right. Right. So, right. you know, let let's keep him on the back burner for now. Okay. We're gonna go with number twelve. I feel like that guy is holding thirty cents. Number twelve. Coming up. Uh -huh. Good luck. Second case of round two. Fuck. I'm just saying. Damn. Mason's not looking impressed, bro. You better start opening some big fucking numbers. He's going to think something's up. <laughs> okay. Kate on a bit of a bit of a run here. Number 14 is fucking clueless too, man. Let's be real. The Calamanta. Yeah. Okay, that clueless. one there. If you're uh, driving home and you're listening to this podcast style uh, content, that one there is uh, number 12. It was 30 cents uh, he's opened. So you want to open number 14? Mm-hmm. One number 14? Oh, my God. This. <laughs> Sorry, it's fizzing out. I'm actually going to have to go straight down. Um, any reason number 14 is getting hit up? Ah, oh, fuck him. That's all the reason I need. Apparently, Before, yeah. the idea is you just abuse them. And, uh, they seem to just contain low numbers. It's a pretty good strategy so far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a poor ass, man. Okay, number 14, 10 cents. Right, two to go. Wait, did we? Yeah, okay, I did go for the mime. Good. Uh, uh, I I feel like you know number eighteen's king rolled, right? Yeah. I've I've heard. You now it's a rumor, so I don't know if it's true. I've heard he's being, you know, audited right now. So yeah. number eighteen. Okay. Lo it's just that time of year. Everyone's getting audited by the IRS. Yeah. Uh, yeah, number fifteen continually being audited every round. It seems. Oh, I race is just disbelief in me. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Probably about time, I guess though, it was eh? a rumor. Yeah. I guess yeah. it was a, a bloody rumor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, that man will be paying a bit of tax this year, I would say. 125. Uh, it's, it's probably shooken you up a little bit. Probably feeling a little bit uh, immortal there for Betrayed. a bit. Betrayed. I thought King rolled and I had an in with one another, but I guess not. I guess not. Helping him with his gardens and whatnot. Yeah. Mm. Robbing case, people blind for him. One case to go. Count Draenor, number five. I feel like those are uh, the Walmart brand robes. You know? <laughs> okay. Like, uh... <laughs> like, like, he, like he picked those up from Bertho. Right. You know I mean? Okay, number five. We can do number five. We'll take that. It's Left side of the board, we will take that. Pretty bang on, I would say, how much those robes would cost at Walmart, too. Yeah, that, that's give or take. He actually uh, spent a nice fiver, and he got like 73 cents back left, give there or take. Is. I he did not mean to fucking say I literally didn't mean to say that. That's kind of sad that my mind immediately goes <laughs> there when I'm thinking of like a low, you know, a mid-range low amount. That meme should have that's died like, so bad. long ago, bro. That 73 number, it's gone on for too long. It's it's not even funny, man. It's not, bro. It's just that it, it's it been around for so long. It's it's like necessary to say it almost. Like people feel yeah. obliged to bloody Dude, say it. it. I, that, it's like one of those things that like everybody was saying it at first because they thought it was funny, and then people were ironically saying it, and now they're just fucking you know they have a panic attack every time they see those two numbers you yeah. know, in correlation. Bro, you know it's like the it's like the four twenty number. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's lost its sting in a sense, but because it went on for so long, it's like when you see it on a number, you're like, <laughs> 420. It's the same yeah. with 73. You know, you just like, you yeah. get an order number at, you know, I don't know, McDonald's or some shit, and it's 73. You, you're like, oh, you almost think about telling someone about it, and then you're like, you got to hold yourself back from it. You can't be doing that. Yeah, yeah, you're like, but then you think to yourself, who actually gives a shit? Yeah, no, like, no. If I text my friend, I saw 73 today. Am I gonna have one less friend by the yeah, end of the night? Yeah, that's a Facebook removal. That's the that's the yeah, rules. Exactly. That's the rules. That's it. That's it. All right. Okay. Now, whew. That's uh, five cases down on the second round. We're gonna give the banker a call, and uh, we're gonna see what he's gonna say. Yeah. Okay. Hello, banker. Uh, welcome back to the party. Um, little one twenty-five USD off the board. Got to be happy about that one. I'm thrilled. King rolled. Really bent you over, Kevin. Yeah. He did, man. He did. He told me one thing and then completely did another. Yeah. But you had a good round, all in all. Um, I will say. Uh, and, and your offer is going to reflect that. Um, okay. I've been working. Yeah. I, I, think, it's, I think it's equitable for you. Um, I've been working with the analyst. Just the crunch and numbers vigorously. That's that's how big the calculator is, because that's how big of the number you're going to get for this offer. Okay. Wow. Um, I'm getting more than double your last offer. Whoa! Okay. Okay. If you recall, you recall, I offered you 24 big ones. All right. Yeah. And while I, admitting that's, 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 that's what you call it, big low. ones. But okay. When was the last time you smelt a, a crisp $1 bill? Mason, when's the last time? You, you, you know, there's traces of coke on that, right? Oh. You know, uh, the U.S. currency does not Oop. does not remind me of, of of clean. There are there are traces of drugs left over on all of these things. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know, to wake myself up this morning. Is that that's the last time I I smelled the crisp the one dollar bill. Yeah, Smart I figured as such. You're squirming in your chair there, waiting to hear my offer. I'm yeah, gonna no. offer you forty nine, forty nine dollars, which is more than double your last offer. What do you reckon of that, that Kato? Is, that, that is such a marketing way of saying that. Uh, of oh, it's more, it's more than double of twenty four, and then it's a fucking dollar over it. Listen. 
Buy, buy yourself a soda. Mason, do you, do you want to know why I have a chair right back there? It's because, well, you know, like that? every now and then, my back, you know, it, it hurts a little bit, right? So, like, you know, you know, either I have to sit down correctly or, like, maybe I lean over the chair, right? Uh -huh. But I actually got this chair because when you bend me over to fuck me like you're doing right now, I at least want to be comfortable on that chair, okay? That chair looks like a so, chair for ants. There's no way you're going to be... If you lean back in that, that is firewood on four legs. Look at it. That's waiting to break. Go, go grab that chair. Let me have a look at that shit. Is he talking about the one on the left? That is not a chair. It's a chair you can actually see, but you know. No, nah, man. Uh, That's like the know. last thing you would pick up at a That's garage sale, eh? Like, like, they're like, ah, 30 cents. I'm just saying, nah. is this good for you, Mason? Is this, is this what you wanted? Ar Archer back. Archer, Archer back, back a little you more. fucking rookie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. This is good Come for on. Cut it. Stomach to the chair. Cut it. Kevin. Stomach to the chair. Okay. Ass up. Mason, is this, is this how you like it? Perch it up a little bit. Go on. Is, is, this, is, that, is that it? Is that how you want to do it? No fucking deal, Mason. Our no fucking back. deal. No, get out of here. No deal. That was a, that was a stupid decision. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. $49. Yeah, okay. You, you, you're going to be fucking paying me 300 just like I said. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Okay, big man. Okay. All right, Mason. Banker, we'll be back in four cases this time. Okay. All right, bye. See you then. Okay. Um. No respect from that man. No respect. Honestly, I would. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. It's double your offer. I would have probably well given you forty nine dollars for the way you bent over that chair. I would have given you eighty if you'd done it properly, though. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. To be fair. I'm not showing, uh, trying to show my ass and get you banned, so... No, 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 you're cool. You, you show that, me the chair, that, that, that's, right. the, that's the after stream. That's the after fine, stream. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, look, you were just... Right, look, if I remember correctly, what you can't see, I can see it on, on the uh, Discord, but uh, the screen region on my stream has been cut out. There's actually a subscriber whiteboard. He was writing some subscriber names on there. Um, mm. Just had a hard time sort of getting to it, that's all. Um, and that's yeah. okay. That's okay. A little miscommunication. Um, yeah, we had a level four hype train, so I have to get back there. You that's know? right. That's right. Man's doing some work. Right. Four cases, 49 USD offer. I think he does like you. He's definitely treating you in terms of the uh, maybe an, uh, a marriage gift of sorts, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get that. Let's, uh, let's bump it up. Let's get a bigger number than 49. <clears throat> okay. Come on. So I have a theory. I have a theory. The bot, you know, we talked about him before. Mm-hmm. The longer he stays on this board, you know, it looks like he's doing nothing, but the longer he stays on this board, the bigger chance there is that he has a higher amount of money. Because you leave that guy doing his thing, you just know he's going to accumulate wealth. Everybody else, they are set in what they have. What they have in their bank account is what they have. But number nine, we got to knock him out right now. Doesn't even if he has fifty dollars, that is okay. We need to knock him the fuck out because without that guy gone, he is gonna end up somehow getting that two fifty, even if he didn't initially start with it. Okay, so you want to knock him off, number nine? Get him. Number nine, it is. Here we go. It's checking saying, out, man. Next round. Next round. That would have been at least a dollar, at least dollar fifty, at least. I don't know why I said that twice, but I did. So here we go. I'm thinking. Listen, we're gonna let we're gonna let the chat decide on this one. <laughs> okay. I want to see what they think. I'm gonna trust them. This is like my phone a friend. Okay. Or the uh, or, or who wants to be a millionaire? It's like asking the audience. Hang on, we're, but, just, we're, we're just finishing up a poll at the moment on whether or not they liked your uh, your technique displayed on the chair. Listen, I think we all know, you know what they do and don't like. So they know that my methods might be you know, maybe a bit different to others, but they get results. Okay, 92% uh, said probably room for improvement. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, chat. Let's help K Dog out here, please. 
In a way, that's kind of half the audience if you think about it. Ninety-two percent of them. Yeah. Yeah I'll, yeah. I'll let you have that one. You can have that one. Wasn't bad. Yeah. It was. It was tasteful. It was tasteful. Right now, I always say, it's always a good time to let the chat pick a case because if they're right, the chat rejoices. Like, yeah, chat, come on, baby, we got this. So, like, you know, it's fine. We'll carry it. If they're wrong, you get to blame the chat too, right? That's There's so no true. Chat, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? You sus Romeo? Yeah. Romeo's always sus. Yeah. So is the Fairy Queen because she's like default red. Dressed in red. I'm seeing 13. I'm seeing 4. Who's 4? Demon Butler gets paid, dude. Yeah. He's got to be one of the richest NPCs in the game. All right, listen. All right, listen. I'll, I'll give you guys uh, a choice from the first numbers I, I saw. So, 4 and 13. Which one are you guys thinking? Personally, I'm leaning towards 13, but I will I will let you guys take the wheel on this one. <laughs> I like how you said, look, guys, I will let you take the wheel, okay? It's, 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 it's my honor. It's your privilege, right? Yeah. You fuck it Absolutely up, man. It's, it's cool. All right, they're saying All right, 13. Look, they're saying 13. We're rolling it. Someone said he looks sketchy, and I completely agree with him. I don't even remember his name. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that is outside that uh, fucking waterfall. So Django. His name's Django. No, that's you're thinking. Oh, of that's Braille, Django. Though. Yeah, yeah. No, oh. his cousin Django, man. He's a nice guy. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because that guy's definitely picking loot off of dead bodies. You want to go Django? You know yeah, let's do him. Bro, how exhilarating was it chopping willows back in the day and just watching level three skillers and. Come on, chat. Come on. I knew it wasn't uh, 13. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, man. That hurts. That hurts. Yeah. But you're right. I can completely blame the chat. That one's on them. Way to go, chat. Nice one. Mason's like, fuck Oof. here, chat. Keep that shit up. <laughs> my man, my man. Okay, two cases go. That was a heavy hit. $200 Listen, out of the way. Just because the $200 is out, doesn't mean that we are in any sort of rough shape, okay? Number four. We're going number four. Number four. I'm straight back into it. I respect the confidence. Here we go. Shit. Oh, thank God. You guys chose the wrong fucking case, guys. You chose the wrong case between number four and number 13. I said specifically, and Ron, back me up here. I said never in my life would I choose number 13. I'm a number four guy, but mm. I'm going to let you guys go for it. And they all said 13. You were there, right? Yeah. You were there? The chat, yeah. see, when, the, when you boys, when the content creators from Crusader uh, Gaming, are, uh, Crusader Talent, sorry, are, um, are in the hot seat, right? And they're not playing for GP to give out to the chat. The chat actually stitched the boys up. Last time there was a 50-50 going down. I shit you not. One of the bros, I can't remember, was it? It wasn't. It was EV Scape asked if, uh, and asked the audience to help them out. They no shit gave him a 49% answer and like a 51% answer. Straight down the middle, bro. Could not have been a more useless lifeline. Who was there for that one? That was a good one. It was fantastic. So they do like to stitch the boys up from time to time, keeping you on your feet yeah yeah that's so that's so kind of them to you know gamble with my money that i could potentially win so mm. thank you guys all right listen i uh i have a method to my madness though okay look at number three look at him yeah the public masturbator what about him yeah he's got a good technique good rhythm yeah so you want to hit him up ever yes but i need to ask you have you ever heard a song by that guy ever I have not. I've had, uh, you know, spontaneous little chats with him regarding clues, but I've never really sort of listened in and chimed in. Is he pretty good? There's a reason why he is about six miles from Fremenic. Mm. This guy's music fucking sucks. No one's going to his concerts. Number three. Okay, fair play. All right. He ain't busking anything here. Let's have a look. That's his life savings. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. He's been out there a while. 
Yeah, a long time. Okay. People give him money. People give him money to stop playing his music. <laughs> um, you hit the two hundred, but again, you still got three reasonably large numbers there: 100, 150, 250 USD. Uh, offer going up or down? Thoughts? Mm. So, it's a it's a numbers game. Yeah, you got to look at the left side. You got to look at the right side. I know we knocked out that 200. I think he's going to come back and he's going to offer. I think it'd be smart. He'd offer me like about $65 and I'm going to decline it, obviously. But, you know, we'll see. If he brings me that $300 offer, I'll really have to think about it. It's going to be a head scratcher. So let's hear what he has to say. All right. Drives a hard bargain. Um, I'll uh, get us pets through in a second. Okay, hello, banker. Hello, gentlemen. Right. Um, 200 years uh, USD. I saw you upstairs with a nice little... Yes, I saw you do that through the tinted windows. Uh, that's got to make you happy. I'm ecstatic. Kevin, how long have you been streaming on Twitch? I would say four years. Four years. Four mm. years you spent grinding on Twitch. And the chat has Actually, longer, my longer back. Than that. The oh. chat has my back. Listen, I, I understood where you were going with this, but I was just, I thought we were going to make a genuine connection here. I thought we were going to no. put the bullshit aside. We were going to make a, a a real connection here. But no, I, I guess I guess I know where your head's no. at. No, you, you, have, you have bad doggy form. <laughs> and I know, I know for a fact you do have a great twist and jerk motion. Like that's okay. on point. Yeah. I can I can attest to that, but the chat has my back and not yours, and and that's what I appreciate the most. So I'm gonna let the chat decide. Oh. Okay, someone you're gonna fact, let them decide said, the numbers. I'm gonna you're let, gonna them, let the guys. You're gonna let yeah. the guys. You're, you're gonna let the guys yeah. that pick the two hundred dollar briefcase decide the numbers. Those guys don't even know how to fucking add. Numbers. Yeah, they do. Someone said you suck. Listen, ads. Individ individually they do. Collectively, one guy just said a, a million fucking pounds. A million pounds. A they million don't know how to, to to collectively add up. Yeah, well, they're they're snakes in the grass. Not not everyone in the chat knows what they're talking about. I see a lot of seventy threes. I see a lot I see of three hundred as well. So I cannot type. I see eleven. Ron, let's get a poll, okay? A poll. My Nine offer. Grand. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, yeah, my offer and my head was was thirty one dollars because Ooh. you that was. That was a dog shit round, Kevin. I'm not gonna lie. That was terrible. <laughs> from, my, the from, analysts up here, up up in the skybox, we were laughing because that was awful. Yeah, no, so, I, I, Ron, get, I get that. Okay. I, I get that. So, what office would you let's, like me to put in there, banker? Thirty-one dollars. Yes. Or Kevin said he declined sixty-five. Let's see what he would say to sixty-six. So let the chat decide: sixty-six dollars or thirty-one dollars. Okay, it's up. The production team's quite on this uh, new polling system we've got going on. Pretty hot stuff. Real hot tech. What do you reckon, team? Oh man, the chat are fucking you up. <laughs> Thirty-one dollars. <laughs> Loser. Man, I, I was, I was just trying to see if they had my back. Okay. Yeah, because they if don't. they had my back, I was gonna bring some to the boys, but. I don't know that that's sixty eight percent. It's really yeah. not faring well for them. It's not. The I think the that thirty one percent can revel in the fact that once we get three hundred dollars, yes, Mason, three hundred, that we are all going to split it evenly. We are going to. Uh, I guess the gas station is about as far as we're going to get between all of us if we split that money. But you know, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere with it. Right. Well, it sounds like you're not even you're not even gonna get that. I'm gonna I don't end even this poll. It's out of this. two thirds have said thirty one dollars, and a third said sixty six. Uh, banker, what are you gonna do about that one? Are you gonna be a man of your word and uh, offer him what the chat said? Yeah. Respect. Yeah. I'm off what the chat said. Okay. Thirty one dollars it is framed. Your move. No, Mason. I wish I bought a button for this, so I could sit there, pretend like I'm about to hit the deal button, grab it, 
and then throw it through your fucking little pedestal up there where you live and shatter the glass. No deal. Savages, man. Hey. I'm not the one that had a shit round. You did. <laughs> okay. From your perspective, maybe. You can't see anything right there. No, there's, there's too much ego on the glass. You should probably clean that off, but you know, okay. Go ahead. I'll see you soon. Three cases, two All right. Worst of luck to you. Okay. Three cases to go. Guys, it's dark, okay? I shouldn't have to explain this, right? Okay, it's meant to be an immersive experience. When the bank is banking on deal or no deal, okay? He's a mystery man. No one knows who he is, right? It's too bad Mason's got an incredibly handsome jawline and, and lid. You know, it's, it's pretty obvious. Uh, but that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, it's meant to be a little bit of mystery. So, uh, you know, clue up. Clue up, okay, you lot? Clue up. Right. Three cases, my man. Uh, doing pretty good. Doing, I'd say, look, the last bank offer, a little bit harsh. Um, but uh, it is what it is, you know. You had to follow through on that one. Mm -hmm. I get that. Listen, I get the game he's playing. Yeah. But, you know, I'm playing a different game than him. I'm playing to win. He's playing to keep that $24 in his pocket and pretend like that's, you know, he had more than that. But I know him. I'm on to him. Okay. I know he doesn't have more than $24. We need to put him into debt here. Okay. So. Talk to me. Show me the 20 cents then. Three cases here. <sighs> Listen. It could have been a bad night mugging, or it could have been a great night mugging for the mysterious old man. But we have to, we have to just find out. He could have twenty cents in there. He could have seventy-five cents. He could have the two fifty. But you know, we're gonna rip the spandaid off and find out. Let's go number seven. Number seven. Okay. Is there any reason you've just completely left out the back? Like those guys up there are, they're getting te getting text messages from them. They're getting pretty fucking bored. The entire back row just sort of, you know, looking at each other going, are we, even, are we on this bloody thing or what? Yeah, well, fuck those guys. Ooh. Really? Fuck those guys? They're probably looking pretty good after that. $150 <sighs> off the board. Listen, I'm just thinking to myself right now. Do you think the analysts and the banker are jerking each other off? Or do you think they're circle jerk, you know, soggy muffin? What do you think's going on up there? I don't know. I know there's a lot of battery changing. They work hard up there. They crunch a lot of numbers. Um, analyst desk is out pretty much by, uh, what is it, changing room three and four. I don't know if there's mm -hmm. too much circle jerking. I think you're pretty, pretty safe, bro. They're all good. All right. Do you need any refreshments, by the way? Anything? No, I'm, you, I'm you good. Right? You go? I'm good. I'm good. Can okay, someone run some over? Well, it's okay, because I have the $250 in uh, Party Pete's case, so let's go 21. We'll give a little bit of love to the back. I'm at 21. A little bit of love. Top of the left. Okay, my man. Okay. Here we go. Shake Party Pete. You mm. are not doing great. <laughs> 250 is still on the board. It's still on the board. It is Look on the him. board. He's looking, at, he's licking his lips up there. He's frothing at the mouth. He can't wait to offer me even less. Um, before you open this final case of this round, I've got a question. Like, I mean, you said you're doing trailblazers, right? Mm -hmm. Can I ask what regions you're going? I have zero fucking clue. I just know I'm going to go to the wilderness at some point. Oh, shit. Okay, you're going to be one of the guys that go there. Any, any particular reason you want to go to the wilderness? Uh, inconspicuous murders, I'd say. Yeah, even though you, you just want to kind of inconvene people. I'd say so. Okay, fair enough. Taking the PK and across the uh, the whole one. Uh, Sh Shazo, hey, bite your pipe down in the cheap seats, bro. Okay, trying to understand it logically, right? Um, what about, what other regions? The other two. You know. So the way I uh, I play, not just you know new RuneScape game modes, but new games, mm. I look as little into it as I can, so, so just to not understand much about it, so that I can kind of discover it for myself. Oh, so hey. you know, I, I want to have a good time without knowing everything beforehand. I know? quite so, like that. I respect that a lot. That's a good angle on it, as opposed to studying every minor detail. 
um, and and making a strategy around that. Um, I think that's what we that's why we enjoy the game as kids as well. Wait, not everyone we kind of optimize the fun out of it. Yeah, and yeah. you gotta you gotta remember every now and then, you gotta just kill some Iron Man in the wilderness and just see what slur he throws at you that day. That's right. That's right. Okay, I like that. Well answered. Um, see if you can uh, get a case. Well picked. Um. Listen, I I think I think fair enough. Her and I go way back. You know, I asked her before the show. Hmm. Please, try your best to get a low number, and I'll pick you. Okay. So we're gonna see if she held up her end of the bargain. Number twenty-two. Yeah, there she is. Okay, number twenty-two. The Fairy Queen up the back. The back broken a bit of sync to uh, right now. She's a girl. She is your girl. Survived. Well done. The Fairy Queen simping for you on that one. Uh, 75 cents, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's big news. Let's get the banker on the line. We're going to do two rounds of two cases, and then we're going to go into the singles after that, okay? Um, mm -hmm. be interesting to see what the banker's got to say about this one. Hello, banker. Hey, gentlemen and, and Kevin. How's it going? Oh, stop it. Yeah, okay. I'll take that one. I don't mind being in the crossfire of that at all. Anytime. <laughs> okay. That was a shit round. For who? Brent. That, for you. The analyst up here, we're laughing. Yeah. yeah. Because you know what we're going to do tonight? We're going to eat a steak. Take, yeah. yeah. You're going you're gonna to take a muffin. You're going to jerk off on it. And the last one that comes eats it. I know what you're going to fucking do, man. I, I've I've read the brochures. You send them out to me every fucking week. But go ahead. You, you steak. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, I, I, I'm still a selfless man. Okay. Okay. Um, you're recently married, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't like where this is going. It what, seems that, what, that you have something nefarious to say about hey, it, bring, but go bring ahead. Bring the missus, too, you know? What's... <laughs> what's the... <laughs> God, you dirty dog. Sorry. Keys in the bowl. Dog. Okay, as you were... <laughs> so what's, what's her... What's her favorite restaurant? I don't know. It's... It's... After I suggest 15, and she declines all of them, it's wherever, you know... I end up just deciding to go when, when hey, you, you know the whole how it goes, you know, like if that's where you want to go, go. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. I I run on this that. that is pretty torturous. It's, yeah, it's, it's wherever wherever we end up that day. It's never where I want to go, but you know, that's okay. That's just that's how it works. So if if you had to pick a place for her. Where would you take her? Would you get her a nice steak? Would you get her? Does she like pasta? I'd I'd probably go someplace that the bill, as well as the tip on top of that, as long as it comes out to about three hundred dollars, give or take. I'd probably go wherever that would be. There it is. Okay. Well, I tell you what I'm gonna do because I'm I'm selfless and okay. I'm happy. That you're married i'm happy you actually found someone um mm, okay. after your you know i see that that peg in the back too i'm just i'm a little disappointed that she would that she would pick you after your your terrible form on the chair earlier mm -hmm. that was just atrocious the chat agreed uh but i tell you what i'm an honest man i'll buy you guys drink for dinner i'm gonna offer you 14 dollars because <laughs> of the terrible round you just had so I'll I'll buy your your new wife a drink, fourteen dollars at, at the nicest restaurant in in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Take it or leave it. That's like half a month's membership on RuneScape, man. That's damn tough love. What kind of cocktail would you buy with that framed? I don't know, man. It's a good cocktail. Fourteen dollars. Hey. That that gets you a good cocktail. Mm. Like a like a dirty That's blast, like, maybe, bro. Like I don't, I don't know. That's like half a drink in New York City, which isn't too far away from you. 
Yeah. It's like a two for one. All right. You know, happy hour maybe. Listen. Mason, I uh I didn't realize you respected everybody in this room but me. So you know, I again I, I I'm I'm glad that you think that you're a good person. I'm glad you know, you could probably sleep at night. I'm I'm glad that you think you're an honest man. But again, I know you walked in here with twenty four dollars. I, I I know it. So again, I'm making you take out loans for that three hundred. No, What's it, the answer? It, it, you're taking it or you're leaving it? <laughs> what do you think? I'm stepping on that money. No deal. Okay. All right. All right, Banker. We'll be back in two cases this time. Okay. All right. You're done. Okay. I'm not surprised. You've had higher offers than $14, but you have had tragic rounds. So I would say they're somewhat justified. But shit. 14 bucks. Yeah, it's bad. It's rough. That is rough, man, but you know, not as rough as the Varrock Guards uh, pay stub, mm. to be honest. So mm. I'm, I'm feeling like number two. I'm feeling like number two is going to have what we're looking for. Okay. Those low amounts. Let's see his paycheck. King rolled. 125 USD. Keep that in mind. Ooh. Ooh. They pay him well these days. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be one of his left or right hand men there, I'd say. That's not 250, though. That's the thing. It's not 250. Right. It's missing a two. It's all good. That's all good. Okay. All right. Well, another question for you. Life as we know it ends. However, technology is coming really, really far. And uh, scientists have the ability to upload your consciousness to the RuneScape servers. Where in Gillanor would you want to call home? What region? Uh, I've, I've thought about this before. And first of all, not Ardoin, because there's some sketchy shit going on on either side. I feel like Falador would probably be the best place to live. You know, it, it's a it's a pretty wealthy town. Mm -hmm. Not not the most wealthy. It's a, it's affordable. You know what I mean? It's it's absolutely affordable. Nobody, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, nobody really gets hurt there unless you enroll as a guard. Uh, right. yeah, then, then you know, that's it. You're done. But other than that, the only thing that is really killing anybody uh, are these adventurers and uh, this mole. But you know what? I don't need to garden. I'm okay with it. So as long as I get like a nice apartment, uh, on the Upper East Side, I, I would say Falador. You know, live out my days in, in relative luxury. I, I would say mm -hmm. Falador seems like the the safe place to be. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, you got the port, Port Sarum right there. Some lovely restaurants around the place. A couple yeah, of hot exactly. Airbnbs. It's 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 not a bad place to live. Yeah. Plus, you know. We live right below, or rather, right above the coal mines, right there. So you know, I can I, I can just father a son, and I can make him work for me. Yeah, yeah. there are some hot bartenders. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely the fact that it's not two thousand and six uh, has its benefits as well. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well said. Well said. Um, you've got a single case here to go. Um, really got to make this one count. I feel you know, forty dollars was a low blow. Let's uh, let's get you singing about something. Come on. I don't know how how humble does the Lumberge guide look to you? He looks like a pretty good guy, I guess. I mean, he's someone who escorts people, doesn't expect any coin back, which could be also be an issue. I mean, the fact that he's because not he, really he earning a wage, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Who knows? But also, could be a, you know, he's a nice guy. Some people might handsomely tip him. I don't know. Exploring all options on that one. I could see, I could see him having like $20 and I'm willing to, to, to take that. I'm willing to knock out one of those numbers on the right as long as that's not 250. So we'll go number 16. 
I'm a 16? Yeah. Okay. It's the last of his, uh, his row. Second, second from the back. Let's have a peek. You gotta like yeah. that. You like that? That's not bad. Yeah, you like that? I'm... Oh, I like that. Oh, you like that? You wanna go show me that? Okay, let's... Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Two cases on the next one. Uh, let's get the banker on the phone, on the telephono. It's got to bring the average up. We're gonna, we've got an, ex we're gonna expect an offer over fourteen dollars here, K Dog. I'd hope. I'd hope. Okay. There it is. Hello, we'll banker. He's, he's picked up. He's picked up. He's on the line. Um, thoughts on this one here? Talk to us. Well, you're hanging by a thread. Mhm. Mm okay. You're still alive. You had the two fifty on the board still. Um, but I see a lot of low numbers. Mm -hmm. And I'm, you're right. Ron was right. I, I am going to give you a better offer than, than $14. I am. But... What, 15 No. Way more okay. than that. I'm going to give you $19. Ah, 19, there it is. 19 is the offer. You take it or leave it. Think about it, though. Think about it long and hard. Because basically, you have, what, a 50-50 chance. You're either making more or less. You either walk away with $0.20, $1.54, or you can hit a big. Listen. I could walk away with $0.20, cents, yes. But even if that's the case, I'm always walking away with my dignity. Okay? So I am not taking your crappy little offer. <laughs> Just because you don't keep the lights on up there doesn't mean that you're going to scare me, okay? You, you, you can try to be ominous all you want, but I, I know what you do up there. You see that red dot on your chest? No, I see it on your uh, left or your right eyeball, though, so. Singer. Is that your final I, uh, answer? I'll let, you, I'll let you change your mind. I'll let you change your mind. It's okay. All right, no red dot. No deal. No deal. Okay. Okay. Two cases, my man. Peace. Right. I guess the, the great thing having $250 in play is that you've got $250 in play. Mm -hmm. The shit thing is that it seems you've knocked off every other important number. So... The bank offers aren't exactly that big because the chance of you having anything but the 250 is obviously pretty high. Mm -hmm. So, me and you, you need to go to town, you need to open the low numbers, and don't open a 250. Let's get that, that offer like up. A good idea. Yeah, you can. Are you in? Yeah, I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Come on. Vanica has no time for money, okay? The only thing he knows is death. So, I'm going to go with number 23, Vanica. Uh, I'd say he also um, knows the thing or two about working out his shoulders. Look how broad they are. No, yeah, that's... I, I'm pretty confident in, in him not having that money. Mm. Because all he is doing all day is murdering. And that, that just gets him beefy. It gets him jacked. He's eating the meat of whatever he kills. Mm-hmm. Even if it's humans, he doesn't care. It's it's you know the fifth age at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. So you know he doesn't care. There's no laws. Okay, all He's right. He's got white claws. I'm sold. I'm sold. Twenty three it is. Let's go. Well, all right then. That got interesting. Twenty cents off the board. <laughs> At least I'm walking away with a dollar fifty. I can live with that. <laughs> no matter myself, what happens. Uh, yeah, I, I could get myself a couple <laughs> sticks of gum. Okay. I could just let them ride for the the two and a half minutes that they're gonna last. So. See, we had did a bitter on here, and uh, I think we had Evscape, and the boys basically used uh, no Abyss. Sorry, it was Abyss and Ditter used their potential winnings 
um, as how much they could buy of their favorite food. See, for dinner, it was how much zing how many Zinger burgers I'm pretty sure you could buy. And for Abyss, it was how many Snickers bars he could buy with the total amount of money. What are you buying with your winnings for food items here? Uh, probably sushi. So, you know. Oh, okay. Unless I'm getting it at a gas station, we need a little bit more than $1.50. One thing I envy about the Americans, you guys can buy alcohol at gas stations, which means there's alcohol stores everywhere. Mm. Ours is a supermarket, and then we have dedicated liquor stores as well. That's it? That's you it? You don't have a... No. Mm. Energy drinks, coffees, the lot, everything. Ice blocks, bar the booze. And the Maxi Bond. Oh, we have Maxi Bonds in New Zealand now. Mm. Fantastic. I don't think you know what a Maxi Bond is. You're missing out. I've No, I, I've I've heard of it from one of the RuneFests. Yeah, it goes very hard. Um... Mm. Okay. Also, I'll tell you what else would go very hard. The one dollar fifty. Where's that? I'd say the genie. Because uh, he might live by a bunch of money, but by, you know he's not allowed to take any of it. So by number twenty-four. Okay. Here we go. Someone guess ten in the chat. <laughs> Someone what? Someone guess my case. Yeah. Again, that's not the 250. It's not. Wow, this it's is getting not, interesting, it's man. Not oh, I bet. Oh, I reckon the bank is sweating. Uh -huh. He's sweating. Should we go ask him how much he's sweating? Let's do it, man. I, I, I want to hear the snarky thing he has to tell me. It's past my bedtime. Absolutely, Grog. Uh, right. Me and Kevin were discussing after he just opened the, I think it was, what, 75 cents, 50 cents or something, and at $30. I would like to know how much you're, you're sweating. No perspiration. No perspiration? None. You keeping cool? None. I'm keeping cool. Okay. Um, I feel really good about this. Uh, you have a 25% chance of winning the 250. The twenty, the four dollars, or the dollar fifty. I like my chances here. You're gonna walk away with like a McDonald's McDouble after this. Okay. Maybe maybe fries if you're lucky. Okay. Um, but I will say you had a good round, and I've got to honor that. So I'm gonna put the ball in your court. Okay. You've got a twenty-five percent chance of getting the two fifty. So I'm gonna offer you. Fifty dollars. Yeah, okay. Okay. So okay. it's more than any of the other alternatives. But do you want to take the chance? Well, I didn't come here to play the penny slots. Okay. Came here to gamble. Okay. So no deal. Okay. Final answer. That's the final answer. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Lock it in. Okay. All right. Um, well, Frame wants to have another go. One case to open this time too. Um, we'll see you in a case. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Right. I've asked the audience as well if you should take the money and run. And two thirds of the audience said no deal on that one as well. So they're uh, they want to watch. They want to watch me pull the one fifty, man. Yeah, the one fifty. Oh, the the one. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm pretty keen to watch you pull the one fifty as well. Show us where it is. You know what? Wait, hang on. Framed Romeo is one dollars fifty or ten gifted. <laughs> of course, the the, the shit I would read out in the chat eh, is something that'll benefit me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're enjoying the live stream, remember to leave a follow as we're doing these. Uh, we've got four more of these game shows after this one as well. We do them every week on Tuesdays or very late night Wednesday for the NZ Boys. Um, thanks for being here, by the way. Thanks for having me. I was talking to the audience, That's bro. Nah, you're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Listen, just just fucking run the number. 26. 26? <laughs> 26. Let it ride. Okay. I like that. Let it ride. Ride we shall. Here we go. That's four bucks? That's a guaranteed oh four bucks God. right there. Playing the chances, bro. As the banker said, a 25% chance you have the 250. And that has gone up a little bit more to 33 now. <sighs> Fuck, man. I'm like, my heart's beating, bro. And I'm not even in the hot seat. Should we give him a Let's call? see what he has to say. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. I'm very interested to uh, hear what he's concocted. He just thinks of snarky insults. Okay. In the, in the cases. Okay, banker. Uh, we're back with another one, and obviously we've got some bad news. Uh, the 250 is still in play, and he has gotten rid of the 150. Man of his word. Oh. Okay. Well, hey. Nothing snarky here. I'll give credit when credit's due. That was a good round, Kevin. It's, it's about time you've had one. Ooh. And okay. So okay. With that, I'm going to increase your offer. Oh. Let's okay. hear it. So... We're running the numbers. You've got a 33% chance of getting any of the three that are available. You have four bucks, 20 bucks, 250. Are you confident that you're going to get the 250? You're telling me the worst case scenario, I walk away with a four for four deal at Wendy's. <laughs> uh, how am I, how am I in the loss here? How am I losing? No, that is the worst losing. case scenario for me. What's a four for four deal? Sorry. What's a four for four? Oh, uh, I don't know exactly uh, what's in it, but it's pretty much you get four things from Wendy's for four dollars. Is that like a? I'll tell you, you, you get a cheeseburger. Yeah. You get some nuggies. Um, so some cool. chicken nuggies. I think you get. I think there's a four piece, and then you get French fries, and then you get a soda. Oh, oh look box. at that! Look at that! Oh. I knew exactly what was in it, but you know now he understands. What I understand, and that's no matter what, I'm walking away a winner here. I just wanted to hear him explain it. I wanted to hear him explain my worst case prize scenario. And I'm gonna sell okay. you. It'll be, it, it'll you. be lobster and steak for us. If you if you walk away with the four dollars, I'm popping a bottle of champagne. Tonight. <laughs> okay. But okay. hey, I, 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 I need to make you a fair offer. Hey, I'm coming around by the way for that. Uh, if that's the case. Yeah, just. Yeah, pop Hop in. in a taxi. Cool. You'll be here in a you know few days. I'll get the chopper out. Get the chopper. Get the chopper. The chopper. Um, I see. I saw seventy three in the chat. I think that's too low. I'm gonna do better for you, Kevin. I'm gonna give you hundred and one dollars to take the money right now. Not ninety nine. Not ninety nine. Hundred and one. That's actually a really good offer. That's pretty good. That's definitely above what you'd expect for three of those cases there. That's a good yeah. offer. Listen, I didn't realize you were actually coming to play hardball with me. It's pretty serious. Gonna have to think about that, surely. Take your time. Chat right now. 55% of the chat, it's actually evening up a little bit, have said take the money, take the, the money, that's new one. And 45% have said no deal. What do you reckon, K Dog? What's running through your head at the moment? You know, again, I did not come here to be bribed okay you can't bribe me easily i gave you my number if you'll reconsider this number of 300 dollars, you walk away a winner at least in my eyes i walk away a winner everybody's happy but look at it like this if i actually do have the 250 dollars i'm gonna make you look so stupid it's gonna cost you way more than that extra $50 offer of 300 to maintain your dignity. So I'm gonna say no deal. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pick either the $4 or the $20. Uh, you know, 
either of the weed numbers. You're going to come back. You're going to offer me $300. I'm going to accept. We get to all go home happy. How's that sound? You mentioned dignity. Captain, you were bent over a wooden chair in front of a global audience. You don't have any dignity left. (laughs) Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I had the chair for you, okay? Because I knew that you were going to try to fuck me on this. So, you know what? I was just doing you a solid. I was trying to get buddy-buddy with you. And I wanted to see if you would at least entertain the idea of that $300 offer. And I'm, I'm telling you, it's not coming from nowhere. It's coming from a very logical place. Think about it. What are the other bankers and the analysts going to say when they know that you got well, played this hard? The other bankers and analysts advised me against the $101 offer, but I insisted that I give give you a fair deal. But um, I take it it's a, it's a no deal. All right. Game on. No deal. Shit. Yeah. All right. See you in the case, mate. Okay. Cheers. Brave, honestly, 101 USD. I would have had to think long and hard about that. I mean, the odds still are that you pick a low number by quite a bit too. True. Brave man or a silly man. We'll I'm, find out. I'm trusting, I'm trusting my instincts on this one though. Let's see if they're wrong. Worst yeah. case scenario, I walk out of here. I head right to Wendy's. I get a four for four. I've also, like the banker, run the numbers. And uh, I put it like this, for $101, right, for six months straight, you could go to Wendy's and get a four for four every weekend. Yeah, that would just be unhealthy, though. Right, EJ, we're RuneScape streamers, mate. Like, that's that's what we do. We're degenerates. Listen, Come on. Okay, You're allowed to cheat, trying, though. I'm trying to save face, okay? Okay, all right. Keep it up. Keep it up. You got it. Um... What numbers are you thinking? By the way, I didn't explain before, but much like the original game show. Well, like the, the copycat version they put on yeah. the TVs and shit, right? Yeah, no, the the, the rip-off. Yeah, you better lawyer up. Um, yeah. When it comes down to two cases, if you don't take the next offer, um, you can either choose to swap or stay with your case. Yeah. Okay? If you're not feeling uh, party Pete, you're allowed to swap it out as well. I thought I'd give you that. All right. Listen, we're going banker this time. I want to see what he has. Number 25. Yep. You sure? Positive. 25 coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a 50-50 chance Framed has the highest value case on old school RuneScape who wants to be a millionaire from winning massively on the Deal or No Deal game show, good save. Um, This is pretty big news considering this is the second Deal or No Deal uh, we've got here. Uh, We're going to give the banker a call. And uh, we're going to have to run some numbers on this one and see where he lies. Okay. Banker, another terrible round for you and a great round for Framed as he takes out yet again the lowest number on the board, $4. Listen, listen. I, I, I've, before he talks, I've been given it. I, I, I've really dug deep. I will take right now. We, we can cut that extra fifty out. I will take a deal right now of two hundred and fifty dollars, because we both know I'm hitting it. We both you want know. Me to make you an offer of two hundred fifty dollars. Yes, we both know I'm hitting it. So you can at least feel like you were in control of this one. No. Okay. No, I'm not okay. taking it. Um, I like my RNG. Mm-hmm. I've always had great luck at the, the duel arena. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some really, really simple math with you here. Um, okay. But simple, simple for me. I don't know. 
Yeah, Lord knows that's all I can do, but go ahead. Yep, um, I'm going to take $250, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add it. I'm going to add it to 20. That brings us to 270. You following along? Yes. Okay. Okay. You've got a 50-50 chance at hitting it big or going home with a couple Chipotle burritos. So I'm going to split that 270 in half to 135. But what I'm going to do, because I'm honest and I'd like you to take the deal, I'm going to up it. 136. So $136 to take the money right now or flip a coin. What's it going to be, second. man? Is he, he might be going to get a coin, eh? It's very, very likely he's actually going to get a coin, for fuck's sake, Mason. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, either way this goes, me and you, let's go down to winners and get a four for four after this. I'm down, mate. Okay. I might get I'm a couple down. though. Maybe we we swing by, pick up dinner. Yep. Yep. Put them in the trunk. Yep. Wait. Give them a swirly. Do you guys do swirlies? Wait, are you saying we're gonna yeah. go pick them up for once? No, yeah. I was joking. Yeah, okay. I'm not cool. gonna pick them up. I was gonna say, shit. Okay. <laughs> That's not how we're gonna do this. <laughs> This is how we're working this, okay? I've got a coin right yeah. here. All right. I'm going to call it. Okay. I'm going to call heads. He's living at a chance. Well, would you look at that? What's that? What's that right there? That's a head. I think it's a head. That's, That's heads. A head. No deal. <laughs> Fuck. Final answer? Final answer. Okay. He's left it to fate. Let's see if fate's going to steer him in the right direction. Banker, I'll see you in the post-show lobby, my man. Okay. Okay. Cheers. All right, my man. Right. 61% of the crowd are behind you in the sense that they think you have the 250 USD in your chosen case. It's weird that 61% of them are wrong because I'm swapping it for number six. You sure? I'm positive. He's a simp. He has it. He has the money. Okay. Romeo, the man with the flowers, does he have the 250 USD? Uh, USD? So what we're going to do, we're going to swap his case for number six. Why did you swap? I know him, man. He's a simp. Okay. Okay. Right. The second, the second that Rome or that Juliet's not available, he goes for her cousin. Yeah, he's a bit of a player. He's he's a bit of a player. No, he goes. He goes for who's gonna go for him. Ladies and gentlemen, show four, the Crusader game show series has boiled down to a moment where Framed is about to find out. Whether or not he has 250 USD or 20 USD in his newly selected case of number six. Let's get some pause champs in the chat as I hit my little button here and we find out how many four fours this man is taking home. Is it fucking heaps or is it five? Here we go. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay oh, with it. Oh no! I'm okay with it. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Fuck. Okay with that. What are you feeling right now? Uh, I feel like Stefan himself should go play the lottery. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Bro, framed, you had it. I had it, man. The 250 I... was in your case all along. You know what? That's just the uh, 
It's the odds you gotta take, man. Every now and then you gotta gamble. Fair play. And uh, look, you played an amazing game, bro. You really did. That was a shit ton of fun. It uh, it started pretty hot. It got a little little shaky. We started knocking out some big numbers. Then you really brought it home. It's been an emotional roller coaster here. Um, nonetheless, as you said, even if you went home with the four dollars or the two fifty, you're a winner because you're going to go and uh, get some value at the old Wendy's for some four for fours. That's correct. Okay. Um, can we get a massive round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for a very handsome banker and basically uh, my my boss, my big man upstairs. Um, just want to say a big thank you for coming on the show and uh, looking after all the Crusader boys. It's a, a hell of a job you do for us and the opportunities you give us as well, my man. We really appreciate having a stern lad up there looking out for us, man. Thank you. No, the, the pleasure is mine. Um, and I want to wish uh, congratulations to brand on behalf of the crusader talent team for a whopping twenty dollars yeah uh that you that you've taken home uh, i'll be sure to mail the check as, as soon as possible excellent Thank um very much moderators could you please spam um frames youtube as well i believe we have that up on the big screen there it's i skim loot and his twitch dot television links in the chat if you can as well um, a big thank you guys for coming on and a massive props to the boys and girls filling the seats tonight and getting amongst and around the game show series, the Crusader game show series. A little reminder that we've got Rakesy. He is coming up next week. Um, if you type exclamation mark next show, that will give you all the times and time zones as well. Gentlemen, I know it's been an early morning and uh, a bit of a long one. Um, it's been, as I said, an absolute pleasure having you guys here and, uh, I bid you farewell and enjoy the rest of your days. You too. Thank you very much for, having, for me. having me. Absolutely, boys. All right, I'll yeah. let you get to it. Catch you later. Bye-bye.